we see far much more traffic coming up in the future. We're investing heavily in ground equipment to assist in our air traffic management. When tourism grows, aviation grows, and everything else that comes with aviation will also grow and increase in its frequency. In order to keep pace with development, and given our, our small size, it's um, really difficult going forward because we have the problem of um, limited, for example, pilots, air traffic controllers. Civil aviation is a closed system and you can't operate in the system unless you're given some aviation document with some privileges to exercise in the system. I think we need to get past, get beyond thinking of our own airspace in isolation. We do exist in a global environment and for a lot of these initiatives to really be successful, we have to get past that. Giving up doesn't mean that uh, you know, you're losing your identity. It just means that you are part of an integrated approach. We are working hard on the carbon footprint of aviation. More environmentally friendly fuels and more efficient uh, flights uh, around the globe. So that will be a key to the evolution of aviation in the area. Certainly one person will never have all the answers. But collectively, you know, we may be able to get that information. We certainly have to be more collaborative, more innovative in our thinking. Once we can collaborate, we can build that trust between all the stakeholders um, in the industry.